everyone, this is Feeder, and tonight I'm going to do a little bit of mythical crafting. It's changed a lot since I made the first video about mythical polymorph crafting, so I'd like to explain what's going on with that and show you the ways to craft mythicals nowadays. Uh, I'd also like to unbox a few things, um, but before I do any of that, I know there's been some confusion about when my stream starts because I'm always telling you it's 11 a.m. EST, and that doesn't mean much to those of you in other parts of the world. So. There will be a link in the description of this video, which you can click, and it should tell you, if everything's working properly, what time your time my stream is at. So ho hopefully that'll be great. Um, I will do a sub game again this Saturday. I had lots of fun at the last one. Uh, we stomped the first time and we got stomped the second game, but it was definitely a good time, so I would like to do that again. So come join me, we'll play some Dota and it should be fun. So go ahead and click that link and please tell me if it's not working so I can figure out a way to fix it and get a link up there that does work. Okay, I'm going to get into the crafting uh, video here. So uh, one thing I should point out, this uh, community market that you can see, you can't, you can't access that in Dota and I don't have it in Dota either, it's just set up on, on my open broadcasting software so you guys can see it better. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. This evening I'm going to open up a treasure of earth essence and I'm going to keep doing these like one at a time every once in a while. I'm going for like the one in a zillion shot that I'm going to get a savage orchid with turbulent teleports. It's highly unlikely, but whatever, it's fun to open those anyway and I have one. Uh, I'm going to open a couple of these scroll cases because more recipes, mo better. And what I'm going to do is I'll, I need to make another hammer, so I figured I'd just do that here. But I'm going to show you an augment rare items and how you're going to get some slightly cheaper rares than normal, so that you can get a mythical for as cheap as possible. And then I'll do a polymorph mythical as well and show how to A, find uh, this particular scroll that only takes three mythical items on the Steam Market, and also how to find cheap mythicals for that. And then I'll craft these broken shackles just for fun. Okay, uh, I think that's about it, so let's get going. Come on, Savage Orchid! It's never gonna happen, but I might get something cool anyway. Or something lame, we'll see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I already do have one of these. Ooh, but this has Creeps Enchanted. Okay, sweet gem. So that's good. Definitely not what I was looking for, but... Yeah, I already have that. <laughs> oh, I already have Creeps Enchanted. Oh well. I'll probably sell that then or something. Anyway, cool. Okay, now recently I've been opening, I dropped one of these and opened it, and I actually dropped a side the vice recipe. What the shit? Okay, see, I'm, okay, this is why I do this. Okay, that's super cool. I think I'll make that today, so, so let's see a shadow blade get made, and I will give out something awesome that I make with a mythical. Another thing, Blayton is actually helping me out to make, wow, this is cool. I need a Santa Rock, an Arnibus, and a Lena announcer. That's kind of expensive. But look at this. It's a Shadow Blade. That is super cool. That's very exciting. Um, I totally lost <laughs> my train of thought. Oh yeah, Blayton's helping me work on a new giveaway. Um, like a, a program that I can run on my computer that'll actually get all the names out of YouTube. Because there were some issues getting them out of my email. And watch out, I'll be doing a mini giveaway for those people that I missed. And I've picked out some neat prizes for you guys. A uh, Feathered Fall Bow and a Frozen Infernal Pact Blade, which has doomed enemies in it. And if there's lots and lots of you, I'll throw in something else too. But uh, I want to make it up to you guys, so anyway. Alright, this was cool. So I would like to do a giveaway here as well. Uh, hopefully I won't get a zillion comments, but maybe I will. Maybe that's a good thing. And um, hopefully Blayton will have that done for me so that I can make sure to get all the names this time. Alright, this can't be as exciting as that one, but... Hammers are good, by the way. Hammers are pretty expensive right now, so so are the recipes. Uh, I think that's why this making these... Oh, this was a shitty box. Well, the first one was amazing, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Shadow Blade for me. Not that I play Kunkka too much, but when I do... I like to look good. Okay, so let me sort these out, and I'll talk a little bit about them as I do that. Polymorph common items. Delete it, guys. It's not worth it. 
you're going to trade three five cent items for one five cent item. Unless you have dupes and you, you know, don't care and you just want to get something new and cool, in that case, go for it. But otherwise, it's really not worth keeping them. Augment commons. Sell this on the Steam Market. Um, augmenting commons takes four common items and it gives you one random uncommon. I did a little bit of research and random uncommons tend to be like 10 cents and you're putting in four, four or five cent items so it's not worth it but you can get three cents if you sell this so you might as well do that. Polymorph uncommon not worth it. Polymorph uncommon not worth it. Augment uncommon is worth crafting. Uh, you're likely to at least get out what you put in and sometimes you get a really cool new rare and it's worth a lot more than you put in. Polymorph Rare I typically sell for one cent. Eventually they get sold, so it's worth it. Polymorph Uncommon. I need to move that away from the Shadow Blade before I delete it. Sorry. I'm gonna get really scared. Okay, uh, Polymorph Uncommon items. I don't want to delete that. Uh, let's see, Augment Commons, sell it. And I'm just moving stuff down there that I'm gonna do something with later. Chisels put on this extremely crowded page. Okay. I think this is all sorted out. Alright, so first I'm just going to make a hammer because I'm going to need one for what I'm going to show you guys in a second. Man, I'm still like, what the hell happened here? Got a cool thing. Alright, Artificer's Hammer. Knew what I was getting out of that. Alright, so two ways to make mythicals through crafting. And this is random mythicals, not mythicals that you know you're going to get. One, Augment Rares, and this is my favorite one by the way because let's go over to the Steam Market, which you can already see, but I can't. And actually, let's stay in Dota for a second. What you want to do is you want to go to one of the recent chests that have rares that are inscribed. Let's see what those are. So things like Warlock Summoning Scroll, Heaven Sent, uh, Whale Ale. Blue Heart Tales, by the way, are rare and they are inscribed, but they're Kind of popular so they're a little expensive for what i'm going to show you uh bow the serpent okay so let's start with whale ale that sounds like a pretty good um thing to start with because it's probably going to be cheap so if you search for one of these items sorry for the typing sound i got rid of the mouse some of the mouse sound at least you'll notice that the inscribed whale ale is 51 cents and the barrel is 41 cents. Okay, so that means if you get this and you get a hammer, so hammers cost about a dollar, you can get them on the Dota store. I think they're more expensive on the Steam Market, so I would prefer to get mine on the Dota store. I think it depends what country you're from, or you can uh, craft it like I did here. Um, use one charge on your hammer, so that's about 20 cents. And you get out another rare, which you can use in crafting. Or if you want to keep the gem instead, you can keep the gem. So for 10 cents more, plus 20 cents more, so about 30 cents more, I got an extra rare. So it's basically making rares 35 cents instead of about 40 cents. And I know that's not a big deal, but if you're doing a lot of them, or if you're trying to do this as cheaply as possible, it can be. And occasionally I've actually seen them sell for the same price as the... Um, as the non-inscribed item. So let's see, Bow Serpent. Uh, pretty sure I can do better than that. Let's try the Codal Staff. Mm, not so good either. Hold on. Oh, how about the Sand King Tail? So use your imagination. I think there are probably other, oh wow. That went way up since this morning. Crazy. I actually got some uh, pretty cheap one. Let's try Scepter Throne. And obviously these fluctuate, so they're a little more expensive this evening. Maybe someone else discovered this. Uh, let's try Warlock Scroll. Looks like the whale ale was doing the best one. Okay, here we go, 49 cents. Looks good. So i uh, buy one of those, and then I should have enough to augment rares. That's it. Gonna blast that open with a hammer. And 
And here we go. So let's say this I already had, but let's say all of your rares were obtained this way. So 35 cents each times five, you're gonna get around, let's see, $1.70 or so. And then uh, the recipe, which if you buy it separately, um, I don't know how much it costs, but uh, it's pretty cheap. It's probably around $2 total to make a mythical this way. And to be honest, I think mythicals are pretty cheap right now, especially due to the recent Steam sale, so I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. But it's a lot, you know, snow fret. Cool. Very cute. That's nice. So maybe I'll give away that guy, and maybe I'll give away whatever comes out of this. Um, I'm actually going to do one more beyond that as well, because I want to show you something else. Okay. Um, so let's go searching for cheap mythicals. Best way to do that is look for announcer mythical. Those tend to be pretty inexpensive. Uh, here's one for 85 cents, 84 cents, 85. Frozen announcer nature's profit for 75 cents. I wonder if this is usable in crafting. I would think so. Let's check it out. So 75 cents, by the way, I think is a pretty good price point. Let's make sure we can use that. Yep. Perfectly usable in crafting. So that'll work. Um, another thing that tends to be pretty cheap is Death Rippers. Another, like, Morak, I think, is pretty... 78 cents. I think that's pretty decent. So for, like, 80 cents or under, you can get these mythical items that you can use. And it only takes three nowadays, so that's where you're kind of, uh, used to take four in the last video I did. Let's check Morak and see. See how much you can get one for. 83 cents, so the Death Ripper was probably better. And I'll get one more from there. So Mythical Announcers, um, Old Couriers, I f oh, I should have checked. Is Mighty Boar Mythical? I should have checked the price on that. I will for the next one. Alright, so let's craft this. I don't want to use my Snellfret. He's pretty cute. And I think he's more than these guys, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. I have this Nature's Prophet announcer for that other thing. Okay, let's make a mythical. So that one was about... let's round up to 80 cents. Golden Real Guardian Totem. That is pretty neat. I just got one this morning. Um, I know someone who would want that, so I'm gonna keep it. It's pretty cool. It's just so, I don't know, it's very beautiful, it's elegant. It looks wicked good, by the way, with those horns that I have. Fancy. Okay, um, <laughs> sidetracked. So now I'm going to show you how to get the polymorph mythical recipe. Oh, I was sidetracked from also determining what the price was. So that was about 80 cents each, so about uh, $2.40. So more expensive than augment rares. So go ahead and if you're gonna do this, do the augment rares because it is cheaper um, and cheaper is better. But because you might have this recipe or I don't know, maybe you wanna do the polymorph. Maybe you've got some extra mythicals that you don't want, etc. Uh, the way to find the cheapest version of this, if you just do mythical polymorph without the description, you're going to get a whole lot of things, and that one's fine, that one's fine. A bunch of them are going to take four mythicals, as you can see on this one here. Um, for some reason, there are a couple listed at 30 cents, which just require three mythicals. That's great, that's what I was looking for, so I'm just going to... Oh, somebody already got to it. Alright, so never mind. But um, the point is, they're, they're giving you these four mythical item recipes, and that's not what you want, because that's not good at all. So type in mythical polymorph space 3 and click include descriptions and search and then hit enter and you will just get the ones which take three mythical items which is much much better. So let's get this one. It's about 30 cents. So yeah this method is, is far more expensive than uh, augment rares so I would definitely go with the augment rares option. And let's see, I don't think augment rares Five is going to work because there were some of these that required some other stuff 
and I don't think putting 5 in the description is going to fix that. Yeah, see, we can, we can have 5 rares plus all these other rares. You don't want to do that. It's totally not worth it. And I'm not entirely sure how to filter for that. Unfortunately, I think you just have to use the ones you unbox. All right, anyway, let's find some more cheap mythicals. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there's any other nice... Oh, yeah, I wanted to see what Mighty Boar... Mighty Boar. What are you selling for? Oh, a lot more than Death Rippers. Look at that. Mighty Boars are a buck fifty-five now. That's crazy. They're like going up like mad. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe they all got crafted or something. That's really interesting. Okay, let's go back. I think Death Ripper was oh shit, somebody listed a Morak for 69 cents. I'm all over that. Look at me go. And 76 cents pretty good still, and so is 77, so I'm just gonna buy all these poor little Moroks and use them to make some neat mythical item. Alright. Huzzah. Let's craft. Morok, Morok, Morok. I'm sorry, buddies. I'm sorry. I have a beautiful Morok <laughs> that's unusual, so I don't feel too bad. Defense grave mega kills. That's pretty funny. Okay, this I can use um, as like a random mythical in a recipe. So I want to give you guys something cool. So let's go with the Snellfret. I think that is anyway probably the nicest thing that I just made. So leave me a comment in this video. Um, one thing about Platon's program, it's got to be an independent comment. It can't be a reply to someone else's comment. So please leave your own comment on this video and hopefully this will be a great way for me to test that the new giveaway system is working um, once it's ready. Yay! So okay, anyway, enough of that. And now I'm going to make a Broken Shackles. Because I have one. I could, let me see if I want to make that Shadow Blade right now or not. But first let me fill this in. I have a bet. Um, and then I had these announcers all ready to go for this. And I'm not putting anything I <laughs> don't mind losing in there. Here we go. Broken shackles for my sport alchemist. Pretty nice. Look at that. I have a very naked alchemist. I have a lot of heroes with a lot of nice cosmetics, but not a lot on him. So maybe it'll give me a little boost to uh, learning that hero to have those on there. Uh, let's see. Is it going to be difficult to get my hands on a Lena announcer? In other words, is it on the Steam Market yet? Hold on. Curse Lena announcer. Okay, it's going to take more than like two seconds, which is more time than I want to spend making that just right now. But um, I will be making that later and I'm very excited about it. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, join me for sub games on Saturday if you're interested in playing some games with me and some other folks. Hopefully it'll be fun. It was a lot of fun last time. Um, click the link if you want to know what time that is at. Please leave a comment for Snellfret if it includes constructive criticism. That is perfectly fine and welcome. And also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. I tend to keep an eye on what's going on with things like crafting and other stuff like that. So if you're curious, I will probably post more videos like this in the future. All right, thanks a lot, guys.